Man, every time I look at this storm, I feel like it's terrifying, but I haven't been affected by it yet, but I've heard that you can't build anything inside of that. So I'm trying not to go even near it. <laughs> but I want to continue now of where we left off, uh, where I had to stop the video because I got really tired. I did a lot, as you can see here. Um, I, in the meantime, actually, I did extend it a little bit more since the last time you saw it. So I'm thinking that it should fit now. I'm really hoping I don't have to make it bigger. Yeah, I already got a green sign there quickly. Hold on, I gotta make sure I got it straight though and centered as best as possible. Yeah, I think it's gonna fit. Yes, it is. I just have to place it right. Come on, you can do this. I did it! Finally! Oh my god, I was planning this for so long. I finally got my big animal pen and I can put my bears in there and whatever else we find. Ooh. Where are my little bears? My bear cops. They should be here and they are. Here we go. Oh my god, they were locked in this box forever. Finally. Oh god, we got the storm again. Now that's that's a different type of storm. I don't know. So I'm gonna go and slaughter some pigs because I need the meat for the bears and they're two hungry bears so I probably need more than one hog. Thankfully I always have a nice selection of hogs right outside my house. One down. Oh down there is his friend. <laughs> Sorry dude, but I do need the meat. <sighs> Alright, I've got two. That should be enough to start with. Alright, let's start this process. Let's put the bears in here. And the food. Hmm, I don't think this is the right food because nothing is happening. Really? You know what? They're bears. I was dumb. They probably like fish better. And probably berries and honey. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna have to fix that. Whoa, that's a lot of fish. That's gonna last for some time. I really hope they like this. Yep, that did the trick. They really like fish. All right, let's take the steak out of here because that's just gonna rot away. We're gonna use that for ourselves. Hopefully that will last for a bit. So this is just as tall as a building and it's mostly hollow inside. So I'm gonna make a door here. Oh, it took away more than I wanted. Shoot. I didn't want to take the whole height out. Oh man. I would not have done that if I'd known that. I don't think I can fix that. But I'm gonna hollow this out even more because then we can use this as, I don't know, storage room. Maybe store all the food for the animals and more stuff. Wood and stone and whatnot. I don't know. Or somebody can live underneath here, you know. Who knows? Man, I've tried everything and nothing works. I can't put a door here. I can't fix this situation. I'm just gonna have to suck it up and leave it. I'm gonna remove this again. So at least we can get underneath it. It's just not really how I planned it, but maybe I come up with a better solution eventually. We'll see. Alright, so now the last thing I have to do is put a torturer's table or torturer's workbench. I don't know what it's called exactly anymore. Down here, because there's no reason it needs to be up in my house, because it's related to this Wheel of Pain. And then I can craft the tools that I need to get myself a slave. 
Um, I think I'm going to put it right here. Alright, close to the wall. Perfect. So, what do we actually need to craft those two items? Branch, iron bar, leather, and more leather. That's easy. I got all of it. I just need to head upstairs and grab it and I'll be right back. Alright, got my stuff. Let's see if I brought enough. Got the iron bar, the leather, and the sticks. And then we can craft an iron truncheon. And we can also craft rawhide bindings, both which I need to actually knock out a slave and then drag it back to here. I actually tried the stone truncheon and it just it gives you like one point health damage per hit, which would take you like, I don't know, 100 hits to get one knocked down. And that, that was just too much work for me. So I decided to just go with the upgraded version to make it a little bit easier. There's even a version after that, but I'm hoping that this is going to be good enough. Alright, well, you have to stay here because I don't want you to accidentally kill my slave. That's not good. I can do this on my own for sure. Yeah. Oh, good. This guy separated from the others already. That's perfect. This is the guy I want. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Oh, no! Now they all come running. Nah. Well, maybe I could still do it. Let's see. If I'm fast enough. I don't know. Shoot. I might have to damage him a little bit first. Yeah, this is uh, not how I planned this. I'm trying to see which guy I actually need. I thought this one guy... For me now or swing for me later. I have to get an archer or a fighter. I think those are both fighters. I don't know what the other guy is here, the darker no, one. For me now or swing for me later. Ouch. I only want one of them. I don't want to take okay, them okay, mate. all down. Okay, mate. Ow. Oh, man. This has become more difficult than I expected. I just don't want to accidentally kill them. Watch your flanks. Me and me mates are thick as thieves. Alright, there's one guy up there. Let's get rid of those. Ah, oh, man. They do a lot of damage to me. I just really want to separate one of them from the others, if possible. Let's see if I can lure them in here and then get back out. And they stay in here? Oh, now she's gonna get involved. No. Let's see if this works. <laughs> Am I making this more complicated? I guess. Oh, <laughs> now she's. Now we have one more. Oh my god. No! Pokey pokey, mate! God! Too many! Ow! Shoot! I don't wanna die! I just want my sleeve! Come on! Oh my god! I'm being chased! I'm not feeling so good! I need to heal. I'm hurting really bad. Oh god. This is not so good. I think I'm gonna go down here real quick just to heal up. I found that this is a very good spot because they never follow me down here. Perfect. Only downside is that they're gonna regenerate their health. Um, but I just couldn't handle them all. I didn't want to. I really just want to knock out one guy and be done with it. I've raided this camp so many times. I don't really need any more from them right now. I just want one guy. 
I'm going to put one more bandage on just so I'm at 100% health because I can use every percentage here. Um, but I hope I'm luckier now that I can maybe just lure out one guy. Let's see. Oh, you're right there. Perfect. That's perfect. All right. Let's just do it right here. Oh, man. Okay, I, I gotta be careful. You've got no chance, mate. Don't want to kill him. Oh, he still has. See how little damage you do with a truncheon? It's crazy. Well, those guys are also not level ones so it takes a little more effort to get them down i just hope the others don't come all right we're getting somewhere oh shoot i would suck if i would die now Come so far. I did it! He's down! Yes! Alright, let's put the bindings on him. Alright, that works like a charm. Now I just have to hope that we do not get attacked by wild dogs because there's a lot of wild dogs here. We made it! No dog attacks! Oh, I guess I was just really lucky. Alright, just gonna put him in here. Alright, he's on the wheel but he's not moving. Wait, what do I have to do? Oh, I have to give him food. I have to go make some gruel. I'll be right back. Yeah. Let's see if that works now. Made a bunch of gruel. Alright, so that's done, but he's not moving. Man, it's been so long since I did that last time. How do I start him again? Oh, I got it, got it, got it, got it. I just had to push the play button. Now he's going! But Mr. Hulk, you're totally in the way. You need to move over here. Yeah. Alright, so this guy can do his job. The sooner he's done with his job, the sooner he can help us out, you know? Alright, you're good. You're free to go. Uh, sorry about that. How are the bears? Oh, yeah, they're making progress. Slow, but steady. So, now I'm ready for my biggest project. Maybe not the biggest project, but the most exciting project for me. I've been living in this little house for quite some time, and I started to build this platform for my actual real house. Ta-da! Big reveal! My new big house next to my starter house. Isn't it pretty? I absolutely love it. Let me give you a tour. So here we have the like living room slash work room and then we have the kitchen here with all the alcohol. You know, that's kind of important. And the juice presses and the brewing situation and then we have some work tables in here not all of them only the ones that are more suited for indoors and then up here we have my one cat i don't know where the other one went because i have two cats and then here's uh, the alchemist table and some other work benches and my bed and um yeah this is still a work in progress it's very kind of blah right now but um, I will upgrade and add more stuff to it so down here we have the exit to the back which goes to the elevator and then we have a nice little deck or balcony 
so it's very very convenient i can just like stand out here and check the situation i have a really good view of everything that's going on below me and then i can also quickly get down to my animal pen check on the animals feed them and all and then check on my slave or slaves there will be more in the future but i'm working on my first one right now so i am very very happy how this all turned out i always envisioned it like this it's pretty much i was able to do it very very closely to what i envisioned so let's check on him real quick so he's about halfway done maybe 45 percent done so maybe a couple more days and he should be good to go and the bears how are they doing yeah uh, they're a bit above 30 percent done but progress is going really well everything is going super well i love when things just go like to plan but you know it's not always the case there is a few things that bother me about the elevator but i can always fix things if i want to but right now i just have everything functional and i know i have to still add more workbenches i have to make sure things are secure um just add the upgrading the house and, and everything but at the beginning uh, you just don't really need all that it's just you have to have a place for all your stuff that's really what it is i ran out of space in the little house so fast as you can see I still have a lot of workbenches outside but they're fine i mean i don't need some of them inside because they're meant for outside but i have my plants i got my drying rack i got my my bees I got my buddy here he's still alive surprise surprise i don't know if i'm gonna move this cooking station it seems kind of obsolete now that i have a stove um, and now i can just use this for i don't know maybe this is gonna be my new stable that'd be actually kind of cool uh, or, or i could just leave it as a guest house i'm kind of attached to it sentimentally because i spent so much time in this little house and i thought it worked out really really well the way i built it it was very very practical for the beginning and uh yeah see my, my i even have one horse that doesn't even fit in the stable right now so i might just have to think about it i don't know yet what am i doing on the roof you ask well i'm actually extending the stable for now because i still can't make up my mind if i want to convert my starter house into a stable so for now look at that i'm just gonna widen it so one more horse fits in it i have three horses i don't know why it just happened but i definitely want them all under the same roof because i feel like i can protect them better if coyotes come running again or something like that they have three walls to protect them and then i only have to be worried about one side and i can quickly jump in and save them um, that's kind of like the main reason I'm doing this to just kind of keep my horses alive while they're watching me <laughs> Wondering what the heck I'm doing here well, I'm not quite done yet, but I want to make sure they fit. Yeah, look at that aren't they adorable? <laughs> they all fit perfectly. There's so much room for everyone Okay, I fixed everything this is pretty good Hmm, I thought I'd do a divider between them like you see in horse stables, but uh, those don't really look good. Nah. Nah. That's not how I imagine it. We don't need this, right? But the front is good. A little bit more protection. Awesome! I really love it. I can't even see my horses. We need a light. Here we go. I should have done that a long time ago. I just realized that there's absolutely no light over here. Oh, finally. So much better. All right. 
I think I'm kind of taking a break from building now. I've done so much. I've done more than I actually expected in a really short time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And I hope to see you next time. Until then, happy gaming. Take care. Bye-bye.